It is incredibly easy to float through life and to allow the days just to mesh together. 2020 was extremely dangerous for this, so is 2021, as it just kind of feels like every day is the same. If you are somebody who feels like your life hasn't changed a lot, that's a good thing. Um, but it is extremely dangerous to uh, allow days to float by. You see, because God calls us to take hold of each moment and to be thankful for the things God is giving us. And the beauty of this, the beauty of thankfulness, is that it actually helps to distinguish the things that are happening throughout our lives. For myself, uh, Janae and I take this practice of saying five things we're thankful for each night. It becomes mundane, and even in that, we can uh, make it a very simple, slick process where you don't actually pull out anything special that's happening. But the key is this. Thankfulness allows us to take hold of moments where we can thank the Lord for what he is doing, where we can see what the Lord is doing in our, in our world, in our lives, around us. When we see these things, we can take hold of them and we can um, participate in what the Lord is doing. But beyond that, the most dangerous thing about days floating by is we experience a lack of joy often. Thankfulness is called, uh, in the Bible, it talks about how it is partnered with joyfulness. When we see this active, loving God moving around us and we're thankful for it, when we, when we take the time to deliberately see what God is doing or th become thankful for the gifts God has given us, like a warm home and a garage to park our car in maybe, or a, f a fridge full of food, when we become thankful, we begin to see God's blessings and his generosity towards us. And what happens is, as we become practiced at experiencing and expressing thankfulness, we begin to be able to grasp onto the threads of where God is moving in and around us and through us. We can partner with the Lord and we can bring joy into situations, even in situations that feel hopeless or lonely. The call to thankfulness or to acknowledging what God is doing goes beyond comfort, beyond joy, beyond the good that is happening in and around us. Even in the bad, God is moving. And so... As we grasp onto thankfulness, I want to read uh, Colossians chapter 2, verse 6 and 7. Which, if you didn't know, Colossians starts off with this heavy aspect of thankfulness. So it says this, So then, just as you received Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your lives in him, rooted and built up in him, strengthened in the faith as you were taught, and overflowing with joyful thankfulness. So I hope that we can take this on and experience and express thankfulness in order so that we might experience some joy in some mundane moments.